All right, so this is a big, big moment for Global, guys. I mean, unless I'm forgetting about something, which I don't think I am, this should be the first ever Global First Extreme Z Battle event. So in today's video, we're gonna be crushing levels one to 30 to get all of the Extreme Z Awakening medals we need to fully Extreme Z Awaken these three guys right here. Now, before we get into it, I do want to give a quick shout out to my friends over at Madara Accounts. They are an online store for stacked global and JP Dokkan accounts with thousands of stones and lots of top tier units for very reasonable prices. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, then feel free to head down to my description and check out their website. And if you see something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 20% off your entire purchase. That's Madara Accounts. Go check them out. And with that said, let's uh, get into this giant ape edition Extreme Z battle. Now, for some basic information about this event, the weakness is the giant ape power um, category. So obviously, if you have him, use the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as your leader. And up until level 14, there isn't really a specific type that's weak to the event, but once you get to level 15, there is an additional 80% damage reduction against Fizz types. So that means, um, you know, after that point, you don't want to bring any Fizz type units. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much all you guys need to know about the event. So this is the team that I brought. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think uh, it should be good enough to get us through all 30 levels, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe they decided to make it a little bit harder than normal, but if it's like any other Extreme Z battle, like regular Extreme Z battle event, then we really shouldn't have any trouble. Okay, so we almost one shot, almost one shot the Kid Goku, but the fact that he actually survived that first super is uh, is promising for the challenge. You know, like I feel like this might actually be a little bit more difficult than I was expecting, but. It's still too early to tell. Oh, by the way, if you guys have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, obviously set your friend lead to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Don't be a bad friend like me. There we go. Okay, so that was level one, level two now. This video might be a bit long. I'm actually gonna try to get through it as quickly as possible though, mainly because I'm in a bit of a rush uh, for time. It's currently 5.11 and I have to meet somebody at 6 p.m. So, yeah, it, it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight, but I think we can do it. I mean, worst comes to worst. Oh my god. <laughs> we just did 13 million damage. <laughs> oh my god, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta are insane, man. Specifically Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Like, especially Super Saiyan 4 Goku. They're both crazy, but Super Saiyan 4 Goku is just on a, another level, man. So that was the one shot. Oh no. Okay, I'm taking this kid out. This is not what you want. This this is gonna make my my run so much slower because when you transform, you do less damage, and uh, it's just annoying, man. Okay, so hopefully we can still, you know, beat this Goku with this rotation here if we get like an additional super or something like that. Oh, uh, this is annoying. Yeah, I love I love that GT Super Saiyan, you know, three Goku, the the support. But like, I hate it when he transforms, man. I hate when this happens. Uh, anyways, um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention. One thing I forgot to mention is that you start with the Kid Goku first, who is a Fizz type, and then we fight Raditz, who is SDR, and then finally we get to the uh, Vegeta, who's AGL. So that's also something you might want to know just to you know, prep your teams for the different enemies, right? So uh, let's take him out and let's put in maybe Baby. Now, obviously I would normally bring this kid, but um, because of the type of disadvantage or not type of disadvantage, the uh, damage reduction after level 14, I was like, might as well just not bring any fist types at all. So why don't we throw in, let's do Baby. I don't really use him much, but now is a good chance to actually just get some run out of him. 
So level four. Uh, oh, okay. So let's try to one shot him once again. It's really a shame that Fizz types aren't gonna do much damage because like, uh, there's a bunch of really good Fizz types in Giant Ape, uh, Giant Ape Power, right? We got the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. We got the GT um, Goku. We got, I guess those are the main ones. And once again, you can use Fizz up until level 14. It's just after level 14, they're gonna be hitting like a wet blanket, right? Because of the 80% damage reduction and it's just not really worth it. Okay, level five. Now if we can get Super Saiyan 4 Goku in the first rotation every time, then we should be able to one shot every single stage up until a certain point at least, right? Up until we get to Raditz. So, so far so good. So far so good. Now if this is not a crit, maybe we won't one shot him. But oh, never mind. <laughs> yep. I love this guy, man. It's so funny too, because like he was so annoying to pull. Like I pulled literally like 15 copies of him before the extremes the awakening. And I was like, yo, I, I just don't want to see this guy anymore. But now he's literally one of the best TURs in the game. Like they they really <laughs> did the Super Saiyan 4 Goku justice, man. Oh, there he is again. There we go again. Okay. So in terms of time, we're at 5.14 p.m. I got about 45 minutes. Well, actually, within those 45 minutes, I need to finish this and then also upload it and also get the thumbnail for my thumbnail guy. But he's pretty quick with it, so. I'm not too concerned about that. It's mainly just the upload speed. And YouTube, yo, sometimes it's not really on point. And uh, they can take a while to like process things and all that stuff, like all that crap. Like, it's not really my internet, it's just like YouTube being slow. So that does have me a bit worried. But I will think about that later. For now, let's just try to get through this as uh, expeditiously as we can. Expeditiously. Oh, there's a counter. Cool. Does the counter get type like type advantage too? Like uh, effective against all? It does. Okay. Just wanted to confirm. Okay, so I think this should kill him. Or come very close. Oh he's dead. Okay. Ah, we're almost a third of the way through guys. We're at 7 minutes and 45 seconds. Just like my last video though, if you guys want to race me, if you want to make this like, uh, you know, like an unofficial race, then just jump in at the same time as when I did level 1, right? Like when I click, click start for level 1, do that as well, and uh, see if you guys can get a better time than me. Because I'm, you know, I I'm rushing a little bit, not like... Like it's, it's not it's not the same as like if I was actually doing an official race, but still, you know, I'm trying to go fast. So if you want to see if you guys can beat me, then definitely, you know, jump in for the race at uh, any time. So with baby, we're doing some okay damage. Not really that impressive, but he is an older outlaw, so it's, it's understandable. It's understandable. Okay, there we go. Now I know some people right now are like not super hyped uh, about the game just because of the new unit, right? Like uh, I've seen some comments out there, man. Like a lot of people are not that excited about the fact that we have the AGL Kid Gohan as our, uh, you know, Dokkan Fest. And I kind of get it. I don't think Kid Gohan, like obviously Gohan himself has some very hype forms for people, but specifically Kid Gohan, I think for many people is not that exciting so people have been asking about like what they can expect next so since we're here since we're just kind of grinding i guess let's talk about it um the next unit on global for sure is going to be the lr piccolo and goku and while they're good they're not really i feel like good enough to like justify summoning on a legendary summon banner if that makes sense. Like, legendary summon banners are just really bad. And, uh, I would tell most people probably to just skip that one. Unless you really, really like Goku and Piccolo. And that LR. You like the animations a lot or whatever. Like, trust me, they're very good. But, I just think legendary banners are too bad for the average player to actually summon. So, 
So unless they're like super, super broken, I tell most people to skip. Um, after that, I think we should be looking at... I, th I think it should be the Heroes collab, right? At the end, or rather the beginning of November. No, actually, I take that back. So Heroes collab, yeah, in November, but before that, we should be getting a Halloween banner. And the Halloween banners are always very good. It's not a new unit, but generally speaking, they put like some of the top tier, like some of the best TURs in the game on that banner. And they also gave out tickets. You can also buy tickets. And uh, yeah, in terms of value, like those banner that's, banners actually usually have very good value. So Halloween banner is gonna be a thing. And then after that, we're gonna be getting uh, the Heroes collab, which I'm very, very much interested in because if last year was any indication, uh, these units for this year should be very powerful. And we're most likely also going to be getting some Extreme Z, or not Extreme Z, uh, some Dokken Awakening, some Dokken Awakenings for some of the older units. Hopefully for some of the Super Saiyan 4s, like the Bardock and the Gohan from last year. Because like even without Extreme Z Awakenings, they were already quite good. But if they were to get that, why do I keep saying Extreme Z Awakenings? My bad. Uh, I mean Dokken Awakenings. Even with uh, out Dokken Awakenings, the Bardock and the the Gohan were quite good. But with Dokken Awakenings, I can only imagine you know how powerful they'll be. So that's gonna be fun. And then from there, uh, a big one that most people should look forward to, of course, Tech. Gogeta, right? The Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Gogeta for Tanabata slash thank you celebration. And that's gonna be... Uh, actually, before that, because that's probably gonna be end of November, beginning of December. So before that, we could conceivably get Super Vegeta. Unless there's somebody else I'm forgetting. My memory is trash, man. <laughs> My memory's really bad. I'm trying to think of like who else JP got before Super Vegeta. Uh, oh, there's Janemba. Yeah, Fizz Janemba um, has his own legendary summon banner, but legendary summon banners are trash. So, no, but Janemba would be after uh, Gogeta though. Well, I guess it would go Gogeta, Janemba, and then Super Vegeta for Christmas. Something like that. Yeah, I, I guess Super Vegeta would be sometime in November, like close to Christmas or for Christmas. So yeah, that's pretty much the next like two months on Global. Um, the main ones obviously I would say to save for would be the Gogeta as well as the Super Vegeta. And then there's also Kefla, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen at this point. And she is, as expected, quite busted, right? So uh, she's also another another one to keep an eye out for. Um, but the point is, man, all these units that are coming up are, yeah, more exciting than, <laughs> than Gohan. And as good as Gohan is, as much as I love to defend him, um, I don't think he's quite on the same level as some of these other guys coming up, so it's not a bad idea to skip Gohan. Of course, having said that right now is like a little bit late, right? It's for anybody that didn't see my pass or pull video from a few days ago where I did say most people should skip the Gohan banner. Um, if you guys didn't see that, at this point, maybe you're already summoned, but if you didn't, then yeah, I, I, I don't think skipping is a bad idea, guys. Um, he'll, he'll be back, right? The Garlic Jr. is really good. The Garlic Jr., honestly, is like, in my opinion, uh, almost as useful has the kid gohan so getting him what is also a really really good pull but you know he's going to be available on every banner as a unfeatured unit gohan will be back probably in a couple months so there's no real reason to like you know absolutely have to have him for now wait that sentence made no sense you don't need to get him right now especially because his category is not that good like Gohan's category of uh, heavenly um, events or whatever it's called, it's it's kind of wonky. It's kind of it's kind of whatever you know. Like there's no real reason to run heavenly events unless you really like Kid Gohan. <laughs> like that's the main reason to get him. But otherwise, don't really need him. 
um you know like he probably is not even optimal for like some of the categories he's in like uh hybrid saiyans for example i'm not even sure if he makes the hybrid saiyans like optimal team at this point because of how powerful hybrid saiyans is so i have to think about it like goku's family too like i don't think he really makes the best goku's family team at the moment but uh yeah guys lots of stuff to look forward to on global of course you have the new year banner right new year banner at the beginning of january technically right like january 1st so that's also something that you want to have stones for save at least 600 because it's usually three rounds 200 stones per round so if you want to do all three for the three guaranteed lrs then uh yeah save stones for that um and i guess that's it i guess that's it oh one interesting thing that I was thinking about, now this is not confirmed obviously, like there's no reason to think it's going to happen anytime soon, but it could, technically for JP, for like their New Year's Dual Dokkan Fest and something like that. Um, we haven't had a Future Saga, like, celebration in a while, right? And we still need Extreme Z Awakenings for the STR Goku Black and the Tech Vegito Blue, right? So, I feel like a major Future Saga celebration is coming up in the near future and i gotta shout out my boy uh tony from discord for bringing this up to me because I, I hadn't been thinking about it but like he was like yo I, i'm pretty sure we're getting a future saga celebration soon and i can't say how soon but like maybe for new year's it could be as as late as you know next down celebration or something like that but it's coming guys extreme z awakenings for both those guys as well as of course new versions of a Vegito Blue and a Rosé. I guess Vegito Blue would be kind of for... Mm, I mean, the last Vegito Blue we got was the anniversary for last year. But at the same time, at the same time, it was a Vegito that transformed into Vegito Blue, not a standalone Vegito Blue. The last time we got a standalone Vegito Blue was the tech Vegito Blue, right? So... I guess it's not too early for that. And the last rosé we got was, well, the fifth anniversary. But you can never have too much rosé. You can never have too much rosé. So I'm going to predict for the next download celebration, it's going to be Future Saga. So that would be like 10 months away, right? But um, it could potentially be like the New Year's Dual Total Combat Fest for JP. I don't know, let me know in the comments guys, what you think about that? Is that crazy? Do you think it's too soon? Or do you think it's like the perfect time? Because I wouldn't be surprised if it was as early as New Year's, but I think it's more likely we get something like that for the next Dallas celebration, especially because there are definitely other Dokkan Fest units that need Extreme Z Awakenings much more than the Vegito Blue and the Rosé. Like, even though both of them are outdated at this point, I mean, they're still very much usable. And Vegito Blue can still hit really, really hard with, like, those million supers he does. So, yeah, I think Download Celebration makes more sense for next year. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Okay, so, so far, <laughs> we're on level 20 now. So, we're two-thirds of the way there. Um, it hasn't been so bad, guys. It has not really been bad at all. Of course, man, the team is good. Like, everybody has their own experiences with each, each Extreme Z battle, right? Because, like, some people have really good boxes. Some people have not as good boxes because they don't spend money on the game or they're newer to the game or whatever the reason may be. So just because it's easy for one person doesn't mean it's going to be easy for everybody. So keep that in mind. You know, like sometimes I'm streaming, people are like, yo, I don't understand why people are saying this is hard, man. It's super easy. Like I beat it. I like one shot every single stage. And I'm always like, yo, that's cool, man. That's that, that that's awesome. But <laughs> that's because you have a good box. That's because you have a good team for this Extreme Z battle. But not everyone's going to have, you know, the same access to like all those units, right? All right. So at this point... Sadly, our Super Saiyan 4 Goku's not going to be as effective unless he continues getting crits, which uh, he'll do every once in a while because I'm pretty sure my Goku has 25 crit, 
which is a 50% chance. So it's still pretty likely that we get the crits. But if he doesn't crit, he's not going to be hitting as hard, which is unfortunate. But he's already done so much work for us that I can't really... I can't really be upset at him if he doesn't do much damage now. And you know what? That was actually still some pretty good damage. That was what, 2 million? Around 2 million? Not bad, man. Not bad. But I think I'm going to replace him with somebody else. Uh, let's see what options we have for tech, actually. We already have the Super Saiyan for uh, Broly. So, let's see. If I take out Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I could put full power Super Saiyan 4. I guess that's it. Yeah, those are the only two realistic options for tech. Okay. Let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep it going. Level 22. In terms of time, we're at 530, which means that I have uh, 30 minutes. I have 30 minutes before I have to go. Uh, it's, it's tight. It's tight. I still believe. I think we can make it. I think we can make it. I'm getting a little bit nervous, but I believe. Especially if Broly gives us multiple supers like this. Maybe one more. One more. Okay, two supers. And Gogeta should do it. So moving on to level 23 now. If we do each level in under two minutes, then we'll definitely make it, right? Because we got seven levels left. Okay, seven levels that left two minutes each. That would put us at 545. If YouTube isn't being stupid today, and actually process the video within the time that it should, you know, which is like 10 minutes, then we will just make it. Yeah, okay, we, we, we're gonna, we're gonna make it, guys. We're gonna make it, okay. So let me give a bunch of orbs to this Vegeta. Uh, eight is fine. Okay. I love this Broly's animations. <laughs> he might be my favorite Broly in the game, actually. Like, he's not the best Broly in the game right now, but he's probably my favorite Broly just because of like how badass he looks. And man, I, I wouldn't mind if they just wanted to release more Super Saiyan 4s, you know, for this next like Heroes collab. Obviously, they're not going to, but the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, is that a, oh yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say is that a thing for a moment my mind is like I just went stupid I went stupid never mind I take that back take that back yeah Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta from Heroes would be nice I don't really see that happening but like more Super Saiyan 4s I think there was a Super Saiyan 4 Rose or is it Super Saiyan 3 Rose oh you know what I think it was a Super Saiyan 3 Rose so yeah Super Saiyan 3s is most likely what the theme is gonna be this year that's at least my prediction uh, because we have the Super Saiyan 4s last year. We got the Super Saiyan 3 Rose. Everyone's really hyped about the Rose. So a Super Saiyan 3, 3 themed like collection of characters for this year. Makes the most sense to me, right? So Super Saiyan 3 Rose, Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta, Super Saiyan 3 um, Bardock. Uh, who else could we get? Who else do I want Super Saiyan 3 wise? Um... Well, they could give Extreme Z Awakenings to the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Vegeta from a couple years ago. That would be dope. And maybe an LR. Yo, what if what if the Rose is an LR? What if the Super Saiyan 3 Rose? They give us our first LR Heroes unit. I would not mind that. I would not be upset about that. Now, of course, this is all just uh, speculation. Right? Nothing, nothing I say here really um, has any basis in like fact or like it's, we don't have any leaks or anything like that. So I'm just talking. So don't take anything I say as a prediction. Actually, no, a prediction is fine. Don't take it as a leak. Don't take it as a fact. Okay, don't go telling people that Tiger said we're gonna get an LR Super Saiyan 3 Rose. 
because there's a good chance that doesn't happen. But I would be very happy, very very happy if it did happen. That'd be insane. I would I would have to drop all my stones, man. Like I, as much as I want to save for Gogeta and Super Vegeta, um, that's one of those things that would make me just drop everything. Be like, screw it. I'll spend more money. I'll buy more stones if I have to. But I mean, it's LR Super Saiyan 3 Rose. I, I I need to get him right now. Like there's something about certain units, right? Like Rose. Uh, new Gogeta's always, and like UI Goku's, that just like, you gotta have. Okay, uh, let's see, we are out of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's, let me see if I can... Oh, I just needed to change the filter, okay, we're good, we're good. We should have enough Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's for the rest of the levels, and uh, hopefully you guys have good friends that also set their Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's as their friend leads as well. Um... Realistically, this shouldn't be as big of an issue as it is, right? Because, like, if the friend system was actually any good, we would never have to worry about not finding friends for certain events, but... <sighs> Unfortunately, the friend system is not good. Still waiting for version Z. Still waiting for that big update that hopefully, you know, flips, th flips things on its head. You know, the, I think the big thing that people are looking forward to is the updated friend system, right? And I've said this forever now. I, I, I've been like, yo, let me just give Bandai a very simple way to fix the friend system. Literally just do what the private servers have been doing forever, right? All you gotta do is just give us like a computer like mirror of our current leader for our team, right? So for example, if I'm running, you know, a revenge team and I wanna use AGL Bardock, if none of my friends or nobody is actually running an AGL Bardock as their friend lead, then just give me a 55% computer generated, you know, fifth, uh, like no, no dupe Bardock, right? So like whatever I'm running, just give me a 55% option. And then if there are other people that are like, you know, running better versions, right? Like a 69% one or a 79% or a rainbow one, then I can always go for that one, but if nobody is running Bardock, it shouldn't mean that I just can't run a Bardock team. It shouldn't mean that I just can't run a revenge team, right? It just doesn't make any sense. So yeah, that, that would be the simplest way to, ch to, to fix things. And I think it would make everybody happy. So man, I spies, man, if you're watching, take the idea. I won't even take any credit for it. Just <laughs> make the game more enjoyable that way, you know? Uh, but anyways. We are almost done here, guys. That was level 27. Uh, I have 24 more minutes. 24 more minutes to clear three more levels. Yep, three more levels. We we got this. We got this. So overall, this wasn't too bad. Um, I want to see. Uh, how, I mean, I want to know how got how how you guys found it. <laughs> I think I've been playing Dokkan too much today, guys. I can't talk anymore. I want to know how you guys found it. Feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, you know, at first I was like, hey, you know, the fact that the kid Goku survived that first super might mean that things will be kind of difficult, but I was wrong. Uh, if anything, you know, it's, it's just about as difficult as some of the other Extreme Z battles, like the average Extreme Z battle out there. Not including the LR ones. Um, LR Broly's Extreme Z battle is still the hardest. And then the hardest non-LR Extreme Z battle, I would say, is still the LR. Or sorry, the, not the LRs. The uh, Super Saiyan 4s, right? The one with Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta. It, it's still pretty challenging. But outside of those ones, like everything else with the proper team, not bad at all, right? Like with the Broly one, even with the proper team, you can still die, right? You can still get get crushed if you don't have dupes in some of your units. So, LR Broly still at the top. Um, the Goku and Frieza one was kind of tough, but not like super, super tough. And of course, we still don't have the Majin Vegeta one. We still don't have the, uh, the Int Gohan one, so I don't know how hard those are. But I would imagine it's somewhere between like the LR Bardock one and the LR Broly one. Probably not harder than LR Broly, but I can't say for sure. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, you know what? Let's put Broly there. And do these guys not share a lot of links? Yeah, they share two links. Yeah. Okay. Well, two more levels, guys. Two more levels. Uh, my current time is... Well, I did talk in the beginning, so I don't know what the actual time for my, like, run was, right? Like, I don't know, like, from the time I started level 1 to now, how long it's been. I'm gonna assume around 28 minutes, but if you guys just started at the same time as I did, then, then it's fine. Okay, we're, we're still racing right now. We're not done yet. We still got the final level here, and then... What we'll call it. Okay, so here we go. Last level. Level 30. Rainbow Gogeta. Jumping in. Okay, so. Ooh, okay, we got both our tech guys here. That is perfect. Get Broly a super. And hopefully, we can finish him off in this one rotation. Give me those triple supers, Broly. Triple super. Haven't done it yet. Okay, never mind. Double super is good too. Not as good as three, but two's not bad. Uh, okay, 2.7 for full power Super Saiyan 4. Okay. I mean, considering his like links are very low, it's actually pretty decent. Um, but I guess the problem with him was like, never the offense right like his offense was always impressive at least especially for the time when he first came out it was his defense that was lacking okay so there you go level 30 done i'm gonna say right around 30 minutes was my time uh if you guys did better than me let me know if you guys did worse let me know by how much i beat you and uh <laughs> that's it guys all 30 levels of the new global first Giant 8 power Extreme Z battle done. I'm gonna go Extreme Z awaken these guys and then uh, probably do a quick showcase for you in a upcoming video. I'll probably just do all three in one in one team. Giant 8 power is becoming a really really fun team. You know I still don't think it's like a top tier team by any means or at least no, that's not fair actually if you have the both GT like it's Goku and Int Vegeta Super Saiyan. Yeah, you know what? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I would say it's not like top three or top five, but at this point, it's top ten, and it's really fun. You know, like the new additions recently, and these Extreme Z battles will make it a really fun team to run. So look forward to that showcase, and uh, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna get out of here because I actually left myself some good time to upload this. It's 5:41, so we got 20. 19 minutes to get this out and uh yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna go do my thing as always if you guys like today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.